Hey everybody, David Lemon here, and I have very good news for you. I'm going to be showing what's new with GrooveMember. There is a bunch of new features, improvements, fixes, and I just wanted to kind of show you what's what's new with GrooveMember. So let's just dive in. I'm going to start with one of the first big tasks that is called access levels. So when you're creating your course, when you're creating your membership, you want to give access to certain users so they can access it and then basically see your content. This was previously done with two different things, course access levels and membership access levels. It was pretty confusing and now we simplified it with the way we are doing it right now. So when you when you go to group member and you select one of your memberships, you can see over here uh, there is the fourth button on the left hand side is access levels. When you click this, you will now see this screen. This was not like this before. It was a completely different layout. Now what we created is a Trello kind of a Kanban board style access levels where you can visually see what is being given in each access levels. So as you can see here in my first uh, access level, I have a silver level where I'm giving a users access to YouTube ads course, all right? If I would like to add another course into the silver membership uh, access level, then I could just click the add course and that would basically populate it here. So let's just give the users SEO course over here. You can select multiple courses and then, um, and then once you're ready, you can just scroll down and click the next button, all right? So here you can see that now we are editing the SEO course content on who gets what, basically how the content will be delivered. When uh, there is um, when there is different uh, options, like for example, some of the chapters are delivered instantly and some of the other content is delivered differently, we call this custom. If you want to deliver everything instantly, then you set up set up everything to instant. If you want, you can also drip it out. It, it asks you when do you want to drip out the content, and then you can also select uh, the the next level, which is the new thing we added, which is locked with upsell offer. All right. So locked with upsell offer means that whenever somebody comes and act, and wants to access a certain lesson, they won't be because you may have. Uh, thought about uh, that lesson to be only for the for the next level. So if you want, you can set up. All right, you can see this lesson, this lesson, this lesson. But the the next lesson over here, you want to make as a as a paywall. You basically want you are basically saying, okay, you can see all of this content. But if you want to see this, you would need to upgrade. So then you can create an offer page or offer pop up. Um, so if you want, you can create a new one. You will not have any if you if you just uh, joined uh, or created a membership. So you can create a new offer from here. You just give the offer a name, like upgrade to the next level. For example, this is silver. Let's just call uh, the next one, I don't know, gold. So let's just call this uh, upgrade to gold. All right, or upgrade to platinum. Upgrade to platinum. When you click next, you will get a, a basic editor for where you put in your content. This is going to get improved, uh, but at this moment, this is just a, a WYSIWYG editor where you can put in content like images, videos, code, buttons, and then you can uh, select this uh, this content and then modify it. We will have many more options and we will also allow adding in sections like what GrooveMember has, like a full-on sections with, uh, with things like um, a FAQ section and things like that. But for the moment, it is literally just to kind of say, hey, this is an upgraded uh, lesson. If you would like, you can click on the button and then um, and then upgrade. So let's just delete the button. For example, let me just show you how to add it back. So you click on the plus button and then you click on this last one. This is to create a button. So if you say upgrade now, and then you put here the link where you want to send people to. Uh, you can decide the button alignment, the button colors. Let's just put the yellow color for the button background and then the black for the text. And then you can decide if you want to open it in a new tab, which is highly suggested. You don't want to send people off your membership. So just open it in a new tab and then you click done. Now we have a button over here. 
and this well, I should say that we are done with our offer. So this is now immediately selected. Upgrade to Platinum is selected. If you want to change it, you can change it to a different one. Editing or previewing it is available with these buttons on here, but that's basically it. If you want, you can save, and then you can move back to a different, uh, a different course to kind of edit this course's uh, access within, your, um, within this silver access level. Creating a new access level is just simple as that. Gold, and then you click next, and then you can again select the different courses you want to add, like let's just say these four, and then I, I'm uh, saying okay. And you can see immediately that you can visually see all of the courses that you have selected, and you can go into each one of them and then uh, make sure you um, allow access to the content that you want within that one access level. So that's basically the access levels. And uh, yeah, so whenever somebody the, clicks on that, on that upgrade offer model that we created from the user's perspective, when they purchase, they will be added immediately to the newer access level, but you just need to make sure that you manage that within Groove Cell. So when you're selling your content, you will have to create the three, uh, three offers and then automatically set up and then the people will be bumped over to the higher tier when they upgrade. So that's basically it. Uh, you have management options for editing, which is basically going in and editing the different courses and giving access to those courses. And then here in the settings, you can rename and then you can delete the access level if you don't want this one. All right, so this is just a very basic overview. Uh, you can go in and play with it, but as you can see, it's literally as simple as that. It's a Kanban view of your access levels. You can add new courses to it. You can do all sorts of different things with it. Uh, basically, to give the people that purchased the content that they purchased, all right? So that's uh, a big feature. We worked on this one for a couple of weeks, and now this is finally out. So the next thing is, when we go over to our dashboard and we head over to the membership site. So this is a membership site for this membership where you're giving access to, to those specific courses. We now have the options to uh, manage the login screens as well. So this has been released uh, a couple of uh, weeks ago. I have not done an announcement about it. So you can come over here and decide what kind of template do you want? Do you want to go with a template that Groove uses? Uh, so when you have a look how uh, Groove created a login. So we have the login model over here and we have some images on the side. You can create something similar with this template number two, for example. So you, you select to customize and then you have the model and then you have all the button, but here you can place your image. So you can click on this pencil icon and then the customization options will show up. So you can uh, put in your title instead of sign in, you can put the description, you can select your own logo image, change the logo size. You can see it is uh, updating in real life. Uh, and then you can change your button colors. For example, let's just put this yellow one and then let's put the text color as black. So it's simple to manage the actual uh, colors and the whole uh, login screen. And then on this side, we can create um, the real login feel for our membership. And then we can select an image like for example, this one, and then you can see it is going to show like that. Uh, overlay color can be also modified to, to fit the, the feel of your brand. So you can select something like this and then make it, make it more yellow or, or more colorful or more transparent. All right, so this is now our, our login page, and this is a new feature that we added on recently. When you're going into the... Uh, when you're going into the membership site, you can click the customize button. And another feature that we did is for managing the different pages within the navigation panel. Managing of the pages is now super simple just by clicking the, and dragging and dropping the, the pages. And this will also rearrange the content within the navigation over here. So as you can see now, it's home, contact us. And if I move the contact us back, then it's going to also show in real time here on the screen. So that's another cool feature that we added. 
Um, drag and uh, drop down to change the theme and theme customization on the membership courses. Previously, you needed to click over here and then to customize the different uh, feel and style of your courses. But we have added a simple drop down where you can select a light version or a or a dark version of the of the membership. So it's really simple, real quick selection. Or if you want to go custom, then this will show up and then you can kind of go in and then go crazy with your colors. But if you just want to use a pre-made one, we are also showing this pop-up now. This is one of the improvements that um, is going to ask you, hey, we're going to change the look and feel. Are you sure you would like to proceed? And then you can say, yes, proceed. And it's changing it to that other style. Um, with this, we added a login specifically for the actual membership. So you can find out the login link when you go back to your memberships and then you have a look. We added now a, a key icon where you can copy over the website URL and you can now go and log in to the actual membership website you can have a look how it looks like and then if you added uh, added members they will be able to log in and then you can preview it immediately how it looks like you can also access the different courses that you have set up and you can have a have a look how it looks on the on the actual real life version that your customers will see as well if we go back we have um, a couple more things that we added and also improved so let's just go over those if we have a look, we have um, within the courses, we added filters, categories, and search for videos. This is already out for, for some time. We have improved it uh, quite a lot. When you go into a lesson and you have a video, for example, and you click on the pencil icon, we now load in a full-on Groove video library, which was... Uh, Previously, you had to copy paste a link from Groove Video Library and then paste it in, inside your membership. Now you can have access to all of your videos from within, uh, from within Groove Member directly and there is no need to kind of go into the other apps. So you can also, uh, also add external URLs just by clicking on the external URL button here on the top navigation. You can give it a name. Uh, you can paste your YouTube Vimeo or MP4 link. And then once you uh, are ready, you click the save button and then that's get, that gets inserted here inside your membership content. Uh, this is one way to add in videos. The other way is by this plus button. So if you want to add a video within your content, you click the plus button, click on this video, and then again, the video library will open where you can search, you can filter, you can categorize, and basically have all your videos on one place. Moving on to the improvements. Now, we have uh, changed quite a few things. Uh, and one of the major things that we did is we moved lessons to become lessons anywhere. So you can move them out of chapters, move them into different chapters and modules. Previously, our lessons were chapter lessons and module lessons. There was a difference, but now a lesson is a lesson. So if you want to kind of have this lesson moved in, then you can do that. If you want to move it out to be in a chapter or as part of a chapter, then you can put it here. Like you see, uh, there is a chapter, but this lesson is not a part of this chapter. But if you want, you can now manage it but just by dragging it in. And then this chapter has a lesson, uh, like this chapter has a lesson within it. So that is one of the cool improvements that we did. Another one is cloning modules, chapters, and lessons with image settings and styling. So previously, when you have set up your uh, your images, for example, for your lessons over here, let's just select this one very, very quickly, and you have selected some of your uh, modules, uh, like header images or, or your chapters, header images, uh, this wasn't actually cloned. This wasn't copied or duplicated. So now when you actually duplicate this, when you clone a module, all of this content will be also cloned. So as you can see, the clone also has the image in the background and, uh, and the chapters and the lessons, all of that will have the content as in the previous one. So let's just go on to the next one, course rearranging a drag and drop. Oh yeah, this is a pretty cool one. When you move out to the dashboard, within the courses, you can now see that when you hover, there are um, 
there are these drag handles so you can drag and drop the courses and move them position them differently so that um, this is how they will show up on your membership site your users will see this uh, kind of as a as a hierarchy so if you want them to do this course first and this course and this course then you can rearrange them and have uh, users see it as as you're seeing it right now so rearranging courses is an improvement we did and also login button animation whenever you go onto a site where you're um or a membership site where you're logging in let me just real quick log out we added in um a cool a cool little animation that kind of zooms in it fades into the membership so it's it's not real hard like uh like a click is very robotic so it, it kind of eases in there was uh quite a lot of fixes as well i'm going to leave the list below i'm not going to go into each and every one there was a quite a few fixes there's many more to come but i just wanted to kind of mention real quick what's coming soon so let me just make it bigger over here if uh, you're interested in what's coming soon um, for the access levels at this moment, we have added the instant, the drip and the locked with, uh, with an upsell offer, we will be adding in another option, which is called hide. So for example, you want to have all those access levels, but you just don't want the users to see them. So we will have another access level, which is called hide uh, or access type. Um, course draft mode when you're creating your courses within the outline like modules and chapters you may be working on some stuff and you are not ready to kind of make it live yet so we will have a draft mode where you can put the those modules chapters and lessons into a draft mode so that you can publish them at a later time when it's ready um, I'm just looking at my notes here new membership dashboard whenever you go into your dashboard let me just real quick show you here uh, going into your dashboard <clears throat> um, here for the courses. So this dashboard will be improved. We'll have all of these icons here in the middle of the screen for quick access. We'll be doing more improvements for the dashboard to kind of show you analytics in the future as well. But we just want to kind of make sure that you can real quickly access all of the parts of the membership that uh, that is the most important for you. Moving on, we'll have a global course library. At this moment, every course is kind of tied to a membership, but courses will be kind of moved out so that the course can be added to this membership or another membership so they are going to be global so you can kind of create different memberships and have a library of courses to to choose from we'll also have global instructors at this moment instructors are uh, are tied to a membership as well uh, similar to to members but instructors will be also kind of a global component where you go and add different instructors into different memberships and you will not need to recreate them for different memberships um, some other things that are coming is a better offer builder as i mentioned we will be I will be increasing the capabilities of the offer builder. We'll be adding in sections. We'll be making things uh, centered and and uh, more functionality, so you can create a beautiful offers. Uh, we'll have uh, speed and loader improvements. For example, one of the things that when you when you log into a membership now, there's a there's a split second where where it shows kind of a dark blue screen. Like for example, if I if I reload this very quickly, this screen. It, it shows for for a second, maybe half a second, but uh, we will be doing improvements to kind of get rid of it and then just make everything super snappy and quick. And um, also one of the improvements is that we removed any kind of loader. So there is no Groove logo as the loader on your, on your membership sites anymore. Uh, that just doesn't happen because uh, like we don't want to brand uh, brand ourselves on your memberships and as i mentioned there will be a bunch of fixes that are going to be coming thank you very much i saw a lot of you guys are doing um feedback and bug reports in our feedback portal so that is all being addressed and all of those are being uh, seen and uh, put on a put on a put on a sheet where our team is going through and making sure that those fixes get done so that's basically it for this announcement. Hopefully you liked it. Hopefully you learned something new about that. If you have any questions, you can ask them below in the comment section. But yeah, go ahead and enjoy Groove Member version 2.